My name is Eric Lefender, and I'm the EHAB dog training expert. And in this video, I want to talk about puppy biting. Very frustrating behavior for a lot of new puppy owners. The dog is constantly chomping, 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 chomping on their hands and the kids, and it just becomes very frustrating and aggravating. So, I'm going to talk a little bit about puppy biting. First, I want to introduce you to my friend Martini. She's a little puppy, and she loves to chomp on people's hands and feet and their pant legs and all that kind of good stuff. And the thing that's important to understand about puppies is that when they're being very mouthy with you, it's because the puppy is just trying to interact with you the way they would interact with other puppies. If we had a group of 10 puppies in this room right now, they'd be running around chasing each other and they'd be chomping on each other. That's how they play and interact. Now, to stop by puppy biting, there's a very simple technique that you can follow. It's so simple that a lot of people think it's not going to work. <laughs> but it doesn't have anything to do with grabbing them, shaking them, scruff shaking them, alpha rollovers, smacking them, sticking your finger down the throat, none of that stuff. Basically, what you want to do is remove your attention from the behavior. When your puppy starts biting, there's a good chance that anything you do increases the behavior. It starts biting, you say, stop it, and they come back. Stop it, they come back. Stop it, and they come back harder. So what you need to do is you just simply need to take your puppy, put them on a little leash and a collar, and when they start to chomp on you, all you're going to do is simply step on the leash, withdraw your hands, and you're just going to wait. So you're going to do you're going to ignore the behavior but what happens is you ignore the behavior and you take away your puppy's freedom so as soon as the biting starts you step on the leash they you take away their freedom you take away your hand you completely ignore the dog and you just stand there and wait puppy relaxes you reach down to pet him if the puppy turns around and chomps on you guess what he hasn't earned his freedom yet back and he's also telling you that he still wants to play and bite so you just wait it out. When you can reach down and your puppy doesn't bite, you can say, hey, good puppy. Take your foot off the leash and then you engage. You start to play with your puppy again. But it's as simple as that. People make it much more complicated than it has to be. The easiest way to stop some behaviors is to take away your attention. Don't focus on the behavior. And at the same time, take away the puppy's freedom. They'll learn real fast, wow, this is not to my advantage when I start to get mouthy. And it's also important to remember that we tend to pay attention to behaviors that we don't like and we tend to increase them. So if your puppy's biting on you and you're saying, bad dog, stop it, don't do that, you're just making the behavior worse. But when the puppy's laying down being good, we tend to ignore them. That's when we want to pay attention. So keep that in mind when it comes to puppy biting. Try it out and you'll get very quick results. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.